Hello, everybody. So, I had to take my passenger seat in because for some reason, the uh, I think the the framing inside, the springs, that kind of stuff are kind of going out. But my upholster said he uh, had put some more foam in here, stitched it inside, um, also hogtied it. Somehow he said he did a uh, where it won't sag on this side. So he did a pretty good job on it and it feels a hundred times better. So when you're sitting on here, you don't feel like you're leaning to this side and see, it's, it, you'll sit <laughs> evenly, right? So uh, <clears throat> just a, a method that he did, nothing special, but he said it's been effective with, with uh, seats like these old bucket seats and trying to keep the uh, me i'm trying to keep it original not trying to buy a new bottom piece uh, but if it ever gets to that point i will i'll just figure you know what the heck i'd rather be comfortable or at least my wife be comfortable <laughs> when driving in the car a couple things since i haven't been uh doing much besides i think this is the first thing i've done to the impala this whole year uh, is I got this cool old jack here. So it's, I forgot the name of the, the jack, but I'm gonna rebuild it. They sell, sell the seals. This is a four ton jack. This is very old school. So I got a lot of work ahead of me on, on this guy. I forgot the name of it, or I'd tell you, but. Other than that, I think it's 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 pretty neat. I got it at some auction, picket auctions, if you ever are looking, in Idaho for $35, if you can believe that. And then I just got this yesterday, this little, uh, uh, I don't even know if it's one speed, two speed, or whatever, uh, but uh, it's just a little pump, just a little, air compressor that uh, I'm gonna use when I don't need to turn on the big one over there. At least something I can do when I'm refinishing parts and shit like that. $20, yeah. Guy was just trying to get rid of it. I picked it up right away. It's pretty cool looking. I'll probably just uh, clean it, leave it the way it is, or maybe uh, paint it, something like that. So we'll see, but uh, <clears throat> I finally got my my lamp up. And I wanted to get up here so I can it can help uh, refinish some of these parts that I want to do for the Impala. I got this at some um, antique store. These are cold. These are this is like I think 1940s. I could be wrong, but I know it's a, a it's pretty old from when I looked the, looked it up. It's, it wasn't this color originally. It was like those old school gray like that over there, that gray. But I just cleaned it up and painted it. And then I found this too, same place. So this will help with soldering, which is really nice. So it'll be able to hold the wire and then I can hold it and solder that kind of thing, move this up and down if I wanted to. So a lot of stuff I've been wanting to uh, find for my table so that I can, it makes life much easier for me. But here's the inside of the Impala. That's where the passenger seat's gonna go. I don't know if you guys deal with these seats much, but these fuckers are heavy. I'm surprised they're so heavy. <laughs> I think they're like 50 pounds, 60 some odd pounds of just dead weight. You know, it's not the kind where you can just carry, right? It's, you're like leaning forward and, and uh, like it's gonna break my back or something if, if I walk a mile with it. All right, that was it. Uh, plans for, for this year. Actually, the only thing I think, I mean, if if I can find a good deal, I'll get I'll look for a tilt steering wheel column. 
Uh, that's, again, if I find a good deal. If I don't, then I'm not even gonna mess with it. Uh, next thing that I will do this year are the, um, the door hinges. I'm just gonna go with new. I can't get the, the exact right uh, 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 clothes, whatever you wanna call it. You know, I just can't seem to get it right, especially on the driver's side door. It sags just about a quarter to half an inch and significant difference, you can tell. Uh, so that's why I'm trying to uh, save up and then buy those and, and uh, <clears throat> put them on. So they don't look that difficult to do without trying to take the fender off. That's my goal this year is to not take the fender off, but get these in there. So I got an idea with the way I'll take them off. I just would hate to have to take the whole front clip off practically. Well, you know, just the, the hood and the right and left fender. So, and that's, that's probably going to be it. I mean, I, I have my differential, my posi, uh, but I got to save up money if I'm going to do my disc brakes. And I want to do that first before I put the posi in. I want to be able to uh, get the brake, disc brakes front, disc brakes back. And at the same time, while I have the, <clears throat> the axles out, I just go ahead and put, put in the, uh, the posi. So those are the plans, and then we'll just uh, go from there and, and see how that goes. All right, well, thank you for, for watching, and, you know, if you ever run into your seats like that, talk to your upholsterer. You might be able to save them before your fabric starts to, to go bad because you don't want that. You spend a lot of money on, on having... Uh, ordering these and then having to you know not take care of the the springs and stuff so fyi do it before not like i did <laughs> all right take care bye